Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. On second down, here's Cutler. Royal making the catch over the middle. Call it a gain of five. And they're going to have a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On third down, Cutler. It's caught. Eddie Royal. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. On first down, it's Cutler. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be a Chicago first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, it's Cutler. Caught right side, it's Jeffrey. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. Second down now after the pass completion. Cutler to Langford on the draw. And a short gain down to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. So Langford the carry there. Fourth round pick last year with Forte vacating to New York. A lot of the spotlight on Langford. A lot of running backs have possibilities in Chicago. If he can emerge and eat up. Now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Here we go now. Blue landed. Second and 10. It's Osweiler again. And on the left side, Fedorowicz has it. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Miller, the lone setback. Now a play fake here on first down. Right side caught Fedorowicz. And he's brought down after a good game. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing again, Osweiler. Fuller brings it in over the middle. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Texans touchdown. Lamar Miller as the first half is winding down. And the Texans will add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here. But I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all. Because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. 